Hey gang, and welcome back to another Spelunky Daily Challenge. Last recorded daily was pretty underwhelming, I'll admit that. But uh, I'm still a little rusty, so we just got to move past those kind of things, work through them, and we'll get we'll get back to where we were. Um, I have played quite a bit of Spelunky with Honey recently. We were helping her practice because we want to get Pack Rat in a tutu as soon as she. Oh, hello, Arrow Trap. Let's get that out of the way. No, oh, or not. <laughs> as soon as she beats Kinyama, which is looming on the horizon, I, if I dare say so, uh, then Pack Rat will post a picture of himself wearing a tutu, and it will be a wonderful and beautiful thing. Uh, so I've been trying to help her out with that. Um, I'm probably not the right person to be doing that because I derp really hard, but I have been able to teach her a few tricks, I think, here and there, and then she's been practicing a lot, and we made a lot of progress on her live stream. Uh, basically, we were using the little froze lunky tool so that we could each play the same seed and just kind of practice, just do it over and over again. And our goal during that live stream was to get her through the black market while having uh, shopkeepers angered. And as a result of that, she got an onk. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, little slothbert. She got an onk for the first time, and it was live on stream, and it was so cool. She was slightly excited. She she honeyed a little bit, <laughs> but it was really cool. Um, so yeah, we got we got that to happen, and we we ended up playing quite a bit that night. So it's it's not the best practice because I was just kind of derping around and focusing on talking to to honey and goofing off and having fun on stream. But I still played quite a bit, so hopefully it'll help me out a little. Now this is not ugh, you little troll. This is not terribly exciting. I think I'm gonna leave that shopkeep alive. He's not gonna do a whole lot for me. Oh no, I didn't go over enough. Oh, I thought it was gonna be all MLG there, and instead I was just therp derp. Okay, what do you got for me, dark level? Oh, we'll do that. Give me your stickiness. Yeah. All right, so if we, oh. Okay, that should be set off, yep. If we can make it through this level, we will have been doing better distance-wise than last time. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what score I got last time, but I'm pretty sure it was not worth remembering, to be quite blunt about it. Um, okay, good. He started angling back towards me. I was like, I probably shouldn't leap before I look just for a, a lightning bug in the dark level, but I was kind of tempted to, and it worked out. <laughs> Is there any goodness up here? Not much, really. Not much. But hey, we did get sticky stuff. If Slothbert isn't too far away, we could totally sacrifice him. Okay, leaping! Nice. Where is the little sloth? One thing I've, strange I've noticed right now, um, the game audio seems re ooh, hello spikes. Seems really low to me, even though it's the same setting I've been using for forever and a day. There's probably a sloth bird down there, but I only have three bombs and I don't have angered shopkeepers yet, so I'm going to hold on to my bombs for the time being. Uh, so yeah, I hope I hope it's not uh, an issue with the like recording. I hope the game sounds are at a decent level for you guys. I guess only time will tell. I'm not professional enough to do a test recording beforehand, so y'all get to deal with it. Uh, do we have anything? Okay, that's our, our way down over there. We've already made it further than last time, so regardless of how badly I fail in the future, um, at least it's not as bad of a failure. Slothbird is just gonna have to hang out there. I would have to use some resources and whatnot to get him, and I already have the paste. If I didn't have the paste, I'd probably take on that area but it just didn't seem like a decent value proposition to me. Come here, bat. Get dead, bat. Man, another Akali altar. Oh, <laughs> I just called it an Akali altar. I've been playing too much League of Legends. It is a Kali altar, not a Kali. Whatever, technicalities. Uh, we have a shop here, which is full of a bunch of crap once again. I do want to anger them before too terribly long, but I'm kind of running out of room here. Like, I want to have them angered before I get to the black market. So I might just go ahead and pop this guy regardless, even though I don't really need to. 
think I will. Now I'm now I'm wishing I would have done it to the other guy. Um, can I? Hold on. No, no, I don't want to do it with the shotgun, right? Because then he just shoots you right away. You can do it with the freeze ray. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Bop. And get shot. Okay. Phew. That one did not go badly, thankfully. Okay, so the chest is already down here, right? Yes, indeedy. So we'll get the key down there. I'm gonna use a rope here because I wanna be able to shoot through there and see if there's anything useful. Okay, there's a little bit of cash. It is a daily, so <laughs> not the worst thing ever. I don't need to care about you. I don't have enough bombs to care about the Vault Keeper. So we're just gonna move on. There have been zero crates so far that I've been able to access at least, which seems kind of sucky to me. But, you know what? It's Spelunky. It is what it is. At least everyone who's playing this daily will have the same poor rate of crateage that I do, unless somebody's hacking. I'm looking at you, Codewing. Codewing's been doing really well. Like, when I when I see his recorded runs, when I'm working on the, uh, the Tumblr updates and everything, dude does well. Like, he was, he was tearing things up in the Mothership recently. And he tends to get, you know, a couple hundred thousand scores relatively consistently, I'd say, which is concerning to me. I don't like competition. I just want, I want people to be really bad so that I can be the best. And then I want it to stay that way. Ooh, don't blow up. I just realized that blood could have technically bounced around. Oh, God. Oh, I don't care for any of this. I am really curious to see how other people handle that. Like, if you don't have angered shopkeepers, obviously you'll be fine. If I would have gotten a little bit luckier with timing, I might have been able to stick him. But I think he still would have been able to shoot me and knock me back onto those spikes. I could have, I could have like, used a rope back at the beginning and tried to skedaddle my way up there. Man! Freaking shopkeepers, man! So, I'm doing this pretty early on. Okay. Link Ruler beat my score and didn't even get quite as far. BTA did really good and got through there, so obviously it can't be done. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see how other people handle this. Uh, let's see what people have done yesterday. Uh, well, not as good. <laughs> I wish I would have been playing that one instead. Cause let's see, I got 50 grand here. Yeah, I would have been, uh, I would have been up there. Drat. Well, oh, hey, Burgazins is playing some more. Cool. So, not the best. Not the best at all. You guys don't see this. <laughs> but uh, it was better than last time, so it is an improvement. I have to make myself feel good about that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed some more Spelunky. I am going to try to get a few more of these out to the channel um, in the near future. And hopefully we'll continue to improve on our performance and our scores here. So, thank you for watching. Uh, if you feel like you'd rather see different types of Spelunky videos besides just the daily challenges, let me know and maybe we could do some challenge runs or just some basic adventure runs or something like that. But yeah, that's all I got for you. Thanks again and I'll see you guys again next time for more Spelunky daily challenges.